So I was heading down to pick up a fresh ship after the polar penguin, our Anvil Karug, was destroyed by Seraphim Station in the last video. But for some reason, a new ship was not delivered to a hangar when I called it from the ASOP terminals. No, on this occasion, I found the ship on top of the spaceport. This was not a restricted area though, so I figured we were still good to get the Pisces loaded on board. All I had to do was head in to open up the hangar. Now, with this being a fresh ship, there wasn't anything on board yet, so it wasn't essential to like protect it or anything, but being out in the open like this definitely felt more exposed. I opened up the hangar and immediately left the ship. I definitely did not touch the engines and just remember that for a moment. When I returned to the Penguin Junior and prepared to fly aboard the Karak, I was in for a surprise when it appeared that the Karak had vanished. Now it was actually still nearby, but flipped onto its roof now for some reason. But after a little investigating, I thought maybe I could just about squeeze the Pisces in if I was very careful. And now on board the ship, all that was left was to flip it right-wise so we could begin loading up on supplies again. I'd be doing much of the prep myself this time, starting with bringing the Ursa rover back on board. You guys have seen us load up the ship many times at this point, so we won't go into too much detail here, but I stopped off at the commons for some general supplies and then pushed on to moving the boxes back aboard in the armory, crew quarters and the galley. Then I'd be heading off towards Port Tressler where the crew would join the ship. No, I did not know. It took even longer for me to figure out where the, the commons landing place was. Oh yeah, that took me a while. Also, like Katie, how many cruise lugs do you think we need? Four or five hundred just stored. We'd be preparing to continue the fight against Xenothreat. That is the focus of Stanton right now. And rather than uploading data from bunkers this time, we'd be heading out to hit priority targets in space. That's right, we'd finally be using the Karak for combat. And as we'll see over phase two and three of Operation Overdrive, the ability to carry snub fighters on board makes the Karak a very cool option for this kind of thing. Who else wants to bring their own Furies on board this time? Pretty got a Fury right outside. Good, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the hangar now. I'll put it on a pad. I figured since we know we're going out for combat this time, it makes sense to maybe bring another Fury along. Alright, now since this is space combat, I'll definitely be flying Escort in my, my shiny new Hornet. Nice. nice. Soon to be F7A, I presume? Oh yeah. Completing all the missions in the Overdrive event will grant players the ability to upgrade the recently released F7C Mark II Hornet into the military F7A Hornet, a prize many players are excited to get hold of. We'd have a few Hornets joining us tonight as support along with our own snub fighters. And speaking of the snubs, loading more of them on board was not as straightforward as we first maybe expected. Yeah, just, <laughs> just buy something off the store like an uh, armor set or something. You're to your right. There you go. No, no, just straight down. Ooh, that is tight. Wow. Okay, maybe that is a bit too tight. The the corner of the. Wait, wait. We need to rearrange the ships in here to get them all in. 
Look oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I know what oh. you're talking about now. Right. <laughs> We're not going to leave a lot of room for Skiz to be able to walk out, but this should work. Yeah, yeah, that looks like he might have space. Right. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm just, we could just ditch Penguin Junior for this one. I think there is that option as well. But before ditching the places all together, I had one more idea in mind to save space. Just take the guns off. Oh, so you're removing the guns. That's actually very Are we scary. trying to fit okay, two right Furies and the Pisces okay. in there? Guns, but oh, like so adding a little bit extra to the front. And we were also blocking the hangar doors this side. We would be better off facing the other way. Blocking the doors this side. We should probably do it the other end. Okay, so... But would it be enough? <laughs> Even. Yeah, go get a snack, some popcorn. Okay, th nice this must out. be enough space, surely. Oh yeah, no, very much. <laughs> Before we could find out though, we had a random player trying to EVA on board, so had to seal off the hangar for now. It's a random oh, EVA oh, towards you guys. Hang on, I'll yep, close the hangar. getting a bit too friendly. Push, push him. Where is he? Fighters, go. Yeah, that's Giz. Here, Here I, I, I can do that. Where is that F7? Uh, I got something a little more maneuverable. So it's close Looks like he's the hen. And we're chasing him off now. <laughs> For now, the random player returned to their vulture, but it wouldn't be the last that we'd see of them. That's oh, very close. Uh, what's wait, happening? wait, what's going on? I'm coming out of sight. Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> Almost. Giving them a little love tap. Like, get yeah. Out of here. When things calmed down, we were able to load in the second Fury. Yeah, look at that. As well as a Merlin in the front garage as well. At this point, we were just about ready to head out after our first priority target. Zergberg was bringing the last of the supplies on board when the random player returned, this time in a Bastion show cutlass. Hey, off. Uh, there is, is a cutlass our... getting real close one? here, yeah, so we might want to take yeah, off now. Cutlass. The Cutlass seemed eager to getting close, but it wouldn't work out so well for them. If that's I'm in a want. Pisces right now, but I, I need to land. That was just a okay. station. I moved all of the armor and stuff to just the ship inventory, but I'll go... That's I'll go the uh, Vulture pilot that changed to the... Yeah. <laughs> you, lost, you lost a part of him again. <laughs> Finally, we were on the move, and at this point in time, I was still unsure if the mission ahead was the one that we tackled in the Redeemer during PTU. I don't think this is the incursions. From what I've heard of, like, the mission description, incursions are, like, a later stage. So, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. The mission requires us to kill a Xenothreat ship, then head in to collect the data key from them and deliver it to a station. We were on our way to Crusader because the target was currently in the rings of Yela. Blaz was doing an excellent job with navigating us in, but as we closed the distance, there was no quantum marker for the location of the target itself. This meant we'd just have to head for the nearest point of interest and slow fly the rest of the way. So do we have any fighters aside from Zero on us? Or... Uh, I'm going to want to hold up so he can launch, because if he tries launching out of a moving Karak, I can only imagine an explosion. Yeah, yeah. But given the distance still to cover to our target, the snub pilots decided to stay on board. Zero had made up a lot of ground in his own support fighter and soon would be able to act as a quantum beacon for the rest of us to close the distance. Zero's about 50k out if anyone wants to QT to me, if you can. Actually, yeah, we should QT to Zero, that makes sense. We can get all our snubs out and get everyone grouped up and... We are stopping to launch. Ah. <laughs> from the top turret, that looks cool. so cool. The two Furies on board took off from the hangar, while the Merlin on board took off from the front garage. Three of them, right? Three of three? Alright, close, close. We got three yeah. snubs. Oh. And we get some last minute turret gunner management done as well. Port would be a better choice than the bottom turret. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll grab that one then. Do you know how to I'm get on there? Site. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Good, good. Uh, it's like holding a 30k. Good. With everybody ready to go, it was time to move in on the target. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Yeah, I, I, I can't stand the, the cruiser ships just because the, the nose sticking up in the front. Are we heading in now? We are. We're heading yes. in. Yeah. I'm getting a collision alert. Is somebody next to me? Well, yeah. One of these really steps is kind of close, but... But for us in the Karak, an old danger would seem to return. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing impacts from, I guess, invisible rocks. I don't know. I think we just hit one. <laughs> We're okay, but oh wait, no. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it'd be best if you guys did. Invisible asteroid collisions have been a problem in the past, so Vlask would be taking us in slowly and carefully. I got one target. Oh, no. Myself. Four, Myself's coming in. Three. Oh, there's a mantis. Uh, it, 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 it took some time to catch up, but it looked like Vlaz could get us into range before the fighters mopped everything up. The warden must be the other one that has the key. Out of range for this land and Marvel one. Yeah, yeah. Same. I, I know, I'm trying to get in there, but I don't want to go like super fast. Yeah, I don't blame Mantis down. Splash. Good work. Aging Vanguard. Yeah, looks like. Alright, you guys should be in range. Good work, Blaz. Yep. Nicely handled, nice and careful. Oh, uh, do we have another contact? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well done. There was more to do, but the skies were not clear yet. Uh, I got a missile. Oh, da, 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 da. I almost hit somebody. <laughs> Oh, we meant to be picking something up from that wreck, from that Vanguard wreck. Oh, Never mind, I just got one near me. Oh, there you are. Where was Thompson? Saber? Uh, I have eyes on it. Saber. We got a Saber coming in. We were closing in on the encryption key in order to grab it. I'm going, I'm going to jump Saber out down. and take a look. Okay. And that missile hit, like, my turret square in the face. Vlas, can you get us to the encryption key? On the way, I was pleasantly surprised by how much Zugberg had brought on board the ship. It's in the, the like, dining hall in the small, in the big box. There should be a hundred in there. Oh, did you bring cruise logs aboard? Amazing. Yeah, I did. Sweet. I'm trying to pay more attention to it these days, you know. <laughs> Not always successfully, but... Durkey was a little challenging to size up to in EVA. Oh. <laughs> Definitely EVA into that a bit too hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming oh, some of the... Yeah. There goes our encryption key floating away. I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lost. I saw that, that was so funny, yeah. The encryption key marker was still out there, and this was confusing for me initially. I even double checked my inventory, and I was not the only one caught out by it. Got me another ladder's got me. Are you, are you able to get the encryption key, Katie? I did get it, yeah. Let me just check my inventory, okay. make sure. It, it's just, it shows on my heart, it's in the same yeah. spot. That's I know, I actually went back to check because I saw the was me okay. marker as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, hang on a minute. Jumping to the drop off location now. Oh, yeah, um, we have to drop it off. I forgot about that. Oh, where is that? Where is that? Um, Mike L3? Oh, L3? Alright, let's get this down. You're good to go. Outstanding, look at that. Like, that's remarkable. Yeah. So precise. Good. Getting around the ship with both elevators currently broken was a bit of a maze. To get to the hub deck, oh, we're gonna phase through each other there. To get to the hub deck now, you've gotta go up the ladder to the <laughs> top deck and then to the cockpit. Either using the cockpit ladder or just jumping down to get to the middle deck. There's a cockpit ladder. No, it's still the cockpit elevator, my mistake. Oh, okay. The quickest way is to just hop over this like that. Yes. The crew had also restocked our Picos, which was another nice little surprise to find. <laughs> Who put those there? That's amazing. <laughs> The long jumps were the perfect time to take a break and enjoy a cruise lax. Soon we were approaching the drop-off point for the encryption key, a rest station out at Mikkel 3. Yeah, that's not gonna work, Zuck. Yeah. So it would make sense if this is the one that 
As the night went on, more people were joining us in voice on Discord, and naturally we'd share the mission in progress with them to get the rewards as well. The delivery assignment is still part of the mission after all. We are still yeah. on the mission. Like that is part of the mission. So. Yeah, we're. Uh, I'll, I'll share it now. Me, I'll just share it, and then yeah. yeah, you should see it come up here. You should, you should still get the completion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's it's. This is all part of the same mission, so it, it should work. Heading into the station, we'd be looking for the admin office, and here at Mikol Three, it's on the ASOP deck as well. Uh, what is B, doing? I don't think so. Okay. I can check. Uh, oh, so it's a, a okay. So um, it's a drop off want, at the. It. How's it oh, here we go. Found it. Also, uh, the crypto key goes in a Kovalex machine. That, that. That's weird. Right. We're out of pad. That's yeah. I'm gonna take it out and refuel it. The cargo stuff. One F three is complete. Eager to rejoin the fight, we would not stick around long before heading off to Hurston in pursuit of our next target. Well, okay. And on the way, Cyrus would help clear up some confusion some of us had about the new Hornet and the military Hornet. No, no, the F-8 is a totally different ship. The Mark II Hornet is like a a, a modern redesign of the original Hornet. So the F-7A Mark II that we get, that we'll get, isn't isn't the same as the one that's on display in like Invictus in like Paul, you know? Huh? No, no, that that is the same. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, good, good. Okay, yeah, it's the same ship. Uh, yeah, yeah it, that's good because I like that one. Uh, yeah, it won't have the the UEE paint scheme. Oh no, I kind of wish it did have the UEE paint scheme on it now. <laughs> the target was at a weapons testing site over Ariel, one of Hurston's moons, meaning a lot simpler navigation than back on Yela. Uh, Should be easier to get to this time at least. Theory. Look Ooh, that is dense. Wow. It's a lot of asteroids. Getting the snubs out came first once again. Uh, we're 2 uh, k away, so if you guys want to launch, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I can just stick at the top. Hopping in right now. Also, fair warning to anyone. I'm assuming since this is two out of three, there will be harder targets. So. My PMP, so that should be good for that. That gotcha. fury looks huge. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen. The rocks here are even denser than Yela, so Vlaz was being careful once again. We want to wait until the Karak, like, How are right you, uh... When it comes to the Karak, guys, the Vlaz is, like, yeah. doing, like, the, the most sensible thing, which is to go super slow because of the invisible asteroids and stuff. So, like, if you guys get there first and want to start engaging, just, yeah, just start engaging. Yeah, it's just a cut to black. The Merliner would not survive this encounter. I immediately... <laughs> Someone hit wow. Skiz. Uh, Skiz is... No, Skiz crashed into a big one. Oh, that's what I know. Okay, see those rocks, they're dangerous. Like, yeah. They just they just pip in and pip out, this, so they're, this, they're this out there. This cutlass is just running. It's 7k Good from us now. What? what ship is the nuke, Sky? That's the cutlass. Under these circumstances, the Karak itself was not seeing a lot of action. We just had to move quite slowly as a precaution. But it was clear even this early on that the experience for our snub pilots was much more fun. And the snubs were really getting into the fights and doing their part. We've got a target real close here. We're slightly out of range. Oh, he's already dead. He's already dead. Or one of them. Wait, is he already dead? Yeah, yeah okay. he's just he's soft dead. Cut us down. Good, well done. Do we want a soft kill? All right, I got it. Yeah, it looks like Cosmic that's Giant's going to get it. Yeah, if you grab it, that's great, because uh, it means we don't have to run through the literal mates to get out of the ship right now. Be careful approaching. The drop off point is at the pyro jump point? Yeah, it's at the jump point. Huh? Damn. Oh, yeah. Uh, other snub is in? Yep. I'm about uh, well, the Merlin is going. <laughs> oh, the Merlin. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Custom hit me. Yeah, I got hit by a missile. <laughs> no. The drop point this time was out of the pyro jump point, a visually striking point of interest to visit. The newest heavy fighter of the line, just, you know, killing yeah. the other heavy fighters. Oh, oh. Nice. No, I'd stick with the Karak for the final priority target mission as well, and owing to the missing Merlin, someone was going to take out the Pisces this time, despite having its weapons removed earlier on. Why are you taking the Pisces? Yeah, yeah, there they go. Yeah, yeah, they go. Yeah. 
Um, I had my doubts over the efficacy of this plan, but really, what could it hurt? Penguin Junior is not going to be able to do much. Not long after, another familiar face would show up. Rohan. Rojam. Oh, Rohan, oh, hey. Scott on. hey. It's good to see you. It's good to see you guys, too. <laughs> and Rohan had a new ship. I, I bought an Ares Inferno. <laughs> nice. You gonna nice. bring it out? You gonna do you wanna bring it out? Today? Oh yeah, I'm bringing it out. I'm heading over to you guys. Excellent. Uh, I got the hammerhead targeted at 18k. 18 kilometers, yeah. The third mission featured a hammerhead, but the Kark was again slow to maneuver through all of this debris. Hammerhead. Two wardens. Okay, hammerhead, two wardens. Oh my god. A lot of missiles. There's a lot of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Are those from us? No, yeah, yes. yeah, that's friendlies, I think, yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm not. <laughs> crazy, right? This is. That looks crazy. Oh, gaming, is the gaming has Rattlers too. Oh my god! We're 5k now. Uh, Karak, we're almost in range, we're almost in range. Get ready. But the hammerhead was not to last. Damn it, look at those missiles. Damn oh, it! There we go. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I, I just no, I'm really make sure that, that we don't get hit any No, no, you're good, Vlad. You're, you're doing, honestly, you're, this yeah. is the best way to go, really. Yeah, yeah the elevator's working. That's good. Someone still needed to hop out for the encryption key, and that person was me. This encryption key's got to be real nervous right now. It's got to... It's got an Aries. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got <a> lightning. <laughs> it's just like 200 feet. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Very close flyby. <laughs> Vanguard, what you doing there? <laughs> okay, I've got it. I've got it in hand, as it were. and also is fairly central. Okay, Vlad, someone, boys. Oh, Skiss, would you yeah. be so kind and invite me to the party? Absolutely. So, another week later and Phase 3 was upon us, and by now the conflict with Xenothrat had escalated into actual skirmishes around Stanton. Uh, Archimedes. Oh, okay, yeah. Based on our experiences during phase two, I was loading up my own snub and Archimedes on board the Penguin, as for the Xenothrite incursions, this seemed like it would be a fun way to get involved. A little rearranging would follow to fit more snubs in here. Uh, which Fury should I get, the MX or the the normal one. <laughs> the normal one. The, the missile one is not good. Bring missiles. The missiles uh, do not know where they are because they do not fire. There you go. Like, are they meant to solo this? Are we meant to do this alone? Because these have been pretty easy and they seem like not that hard fights, but we can use the distortion kit. Loads of space. Look at that. Perfectly, like just so much space. So much room for activities. And before setting out, I'd spot a pico hazard in the med bay. There's a pico in the med, med bay. Med bed. I'm gonna grab that because I don't know if that would cause an explosion or not when the bed is used. <laughs> I think when we get the uh, apartments or maybe even hangars, uh... we were ready to head in to our first incursion. Is the potential chance of grief as well? I mean, there's always, oh, there's always, it's always, a, it's a PvP game. There's always a chance of that. I mean, there's a chance of P chance of PvP or not griefers. Yes, person. Uh, it's Magda. If you, if you accept the mission, it has a mission marker. Let's do this. I'd be joined by Damon, who was taking out the Fury. Wait, 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 I'm coming up. Here we go. We still have to launch. The snub fighters make for a much faster flight into the AO. Alright. Oh, cover target up. Yeah. Oh, here we oh. go. Damn, some of the targets just showed up. The hammerhead show up first, but I'd be going for the support ships like the Cutlass and Gladius nearby. Crap. 
Alright. Alright. I've got a ham I've got a hammerhead and some stuff down here. Yes. Fine. We have a lot of targets here. Yeah, I've got a little spike in front of us. Once, uh, it's too far so Yeah, like, okay, one day. My marker for high value target? Yeah, that's the one we got it. Yeah, it's gonna be the, the hammerhead. Yep. Yeah. I'm passing through, sorry. I'm, I'm on the same target as you now, Vlaz. Uh, turrets, the, uh, the, I'm sorry, I've been in front yeah. of us. Yeah. Oh. They're gone. Never mind, they're down. Just like in phase two, Vaz was flying the Kamek, but at least with the incursion, there are enough targets. But being a bit slow doesn't mean you miss the action. I just gotta fly slow, because this is a freaking minefield for this character. Horrible, isn't it? Like, they, they're so yeah. dense that, ooh, yeah. that was close. It's terrible for <laughs> So I can then let go of it and things. Right, what? It makes it a little bit more clear. Oh, All right, uh, right in front of red. If you, if your shields are low. Yeah, I'll see you in a So much easier to shoot with the trees. Yes, it is. Oh, we got a... Uh, I can eat you. Yeah, good work. Thank you, Zero. Good, good shooting. With everyone now committed, we were making steady progress. We've got 11 more, 11 more. We've got two groups in front of us. You guys are in one group. There's one to your uh, right. Can we get the hammerheads? Yes. There's people Good to shoot. Nice. Oh, I can't see any. Be careful. I'm you. Make sure you're full killing targets. Oh. That way, they're up to the scope. Yeah, it goes. Yes, <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay. Soon I join the fight against the hammerheads. Yeah, I'm getting a fighter. Coming on the hammerhead now. Oh, look at that. There's a. Um. Alright, you should have. Uh, oh, well, missile. still 3k away. Yeah. 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 I exploded it. Yeah, look at that. Where? Where? Good way. Yeah. Oh, Stormguard, you and a hawk. Nice. Alright, try and look at David's. Alan? Yep. Look at that, he's actually spinning. That's pretty crazy. Cool. God! This AI is awesome! Alright, yeah. try and Oh, God. These, these battles are so much fun. Like, it's so good. It's freaking crazy. Oh, 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 <laughs> and after racking up a few kills, Damon and me were on the final target together. Uh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Yeah, what, uh, who was this? So, yeah, uh, Katie's on the last one. Uh, on the last one as well. I'm on the last one. Who is it? Oh, one of, <laughs> one of the enemy ships was an F7A. Yes. Yeah, nice. yeah so you yeah. wanted to, you Down wanted everybody. to see you can get the turrets off of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah, I was so like, up. I'm gonna come to you. Uh, that was great, wow. That was so much fun. That was great. <laughs> so we were returning to the Karak for transport to the next incursion, and I think at this point that we decided that this is how we are going to run the Polar Penguin going forward. Basically a snub carrier with all of our supplies on board, as we push to finish out Operation Overdrive and the fight against Xenothrat. We still had many more space battles to complete, both incursions and around comrades within the system, and it was to culminate where they returned to Security Post Korea, where with a little luck we'd fare better than before. How did we get on continuing Phase 3? Join us next time to find out. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching, and all of our very generous patrons that you can see on the screen right now. These very generous people are what allow us to keep putting out videos like this every week, and I'm very grateful to all of them for that support. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Brandon, Matthew Taylor, Kanio, Lord Plural, and Peter Holmes, who all recently became supporters of the channel over on Patreon. Thank you all for choosing to support the channel. It goes a long way to keeping things going, and I'm just very grateful that you all consider us worthy of backing in the first place. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more from the Polar Penguin very soon.